Hello and welcome to Croatia for day two of this year's rally. Now, for those of you who missed yesterday's action, don't worry, click on that link about there and you can catch up with everything. It was an absolute belter. Now, another eight stages to run today. Thierry Neuville is our rally leader, but we need to keep our eyes on these two fellas, the Toyotas of Elvin Evans and Sebastian Auger. They're going out fighting. They said that yesterday. So here is the very best of today's action. Oit Tanak was off the pace on day one and things weren't much better today. 6.8 seconds off the pace on the opening stage, a bad tyre choice hindering the Estonian's progress. Nevertheless, while not fighting for the top three, he did end the day in a safe fourth position. Takamoto Katsuta was on blistering form today. There's no doubt that his road position was working in his favour, but his all-or-nothing approach was paying dividends, winning both stages 10 and 14 outright. Meanwhile, Hyundai's rookie Pierre-Louis Loubet was in a fight with Gus Greensmith until stage 14, when the back stepped out into this fast left-hander and he simply ran out of road trying to gather it all back up. Day over for the Frenchman. Up at the business end though, it has been an absolute battle royale between Thierry Neuville and those Toyotas of Sebastian Auger and Elvin Evans. A bad tyre choice from Neuville combined with a stall saw him drop from rally leader to third by 15 and a half seconds after stage 10. The Belgian had some work to do and one thing he is not is a quitter. Despite his Hyundai perhaps not being perfectly suited to today's roads, he won stages 13 and 15 and goes into the final day in third position. While Neuville was pulling himself back into contention, true to their word, there was no team orders at Toyota. Both Auger and Evans pushing each other to the absolute limit. Auger quick all day, but a front right puncture on stage 13 saw him drop nine seconds. Fortunately for him, it was on the same stage that Evans also ran into problems, admitting that he was not committed enough through the dirty sections and he too dropped time. Which means we are set for a top three shootout going into the final day. Auger leads 6.9 seconds clear of Elvin Evans, Thierry Neuville just three and a half further back. Well, I think it's been a good day for sure. The only uh, only issue was a puncture. Otherwise, uh, otherwise I think we can be happy. The reason was good. About tomorrow, it's an outright fight between you and Elvin. Of course, and uh, Thierry as well. He's not far, so it's going to be a fun Sunday. What a day it has been today here in Croatia. But one man we haven't talked about is our driver of the day, and it's this fella. Adrian Formo. Adrian, listen, we talked beforehand in the preview show that, you know, a top 10 result would be brilliant, a top six would be mind-blowing. Today, you've been knocking on the doors of stage wins. Had it not been for Sebastian Auger and Thierry Neuville in 9 and 13, you'd have won a stage. Unbelievable stuff. Yeah, it was an amazing day for us, to be honest. Uh, we were really focused on the first stage of the, of the loop. Uh, and, uh, and twice time we did, we were able to do a really good time and second time each time. Uh, one time was with Seboje, the second one with with Thierry. And uh, yeah, it was just brilliant to drive the car, I was enjoying all the time. And, and now we, our goal was top six and we are five now, we are fifth. So it's over my, uh, it's over my, my goal at the beginning of the rally. It's comfortable fifth, you and Gus having a bit of a battle going into tomorrow. Listen. It just seems like you're getting more and more confident in the car, and it seems more than anything like you're really enjoying yourself in it. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I think it's uh, it's okay for for improving my pace, and uh, and I'm more and more confident with the car. It's just it's just learning, and uh, and I'm learning quite fast. I think so. It's uh, it's really positive for 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 tomorrow and maybe for the future. Doing a fantastic job. Listen, four stages still to run here in Croatia. Can Adrian Formo take his first ever WRC stage win? And who do you think is going to win the rally? Stick your comments down below. And remember to like and subscribe. We'll be back tomorrow for more of the same. Thanks for company. Goodbye.